Matt Miller. How'd you do it? Hey, it's me again. And I'm here with my friend. He's not wearing any pants. And today I'm going to tell you how to put on pants. Because pants, they're wonderful. It's really important to know how to put on pants for many reasons. Like, let's say your Nana goes to the market to pick up some snacks and then all she gets is peach blossoms. So now you gotta go back to the market. If a couple of mutts break into your house and they start nibbling at your shins. If your aunt gets brutally murdered if the coach wants to see you off the court, but he doesn't want to see you in your sweaty trunks. If there's suddenly a Mexican siesta. If your father dies. So it's really important to know how to put on pants. How to put on pants. The first step is touch your toes. That's it, bend over and touch those little piggies. What are you doing bouncing around? Can you just even it off so you're just on your toes? There you go. It's important to touch your toes because that makes your arms extend the length of your legs and then that prepares you to put on pants which would be the length of your legs. The next step is sexually arouse your knees. That's right, you gotta get those knees nice and aroused. Just rub them. Rub them so nice. Look at that. You're just rubbing those knees so nice. What are you doing there? What's going on here? What are you picking up? Oh, some ice? Those are going to be some cold ass fucking knees. Oh, that's so fucking sexy when you rub all that ice against your knees. Oh, that's so hot when you put your pants on. Your knees are going to be so fucking turned on. It's going to be. Step number three duct tape those shins. Don't be mad. Just get that tape out and put it on your shin there. Now it's important to duct tape your shins because that prepares your shins for pants. The duct tape naturally gets your shins ready for pants fabric. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Alright, you're doing the other side. You're just getting both shins ready for that pants to come down on them hard. Like a real human. The tape is a natural way to get them ready. Step number four. Add syrup, in this case chocolate, to those shins. Now, actually, this really isn't a step. I just thought I'd play a goof on this guy and tell him to put syrup on his shins. You don't really need to put syrup on your shins. That's just silly. Look at him putting syrup on his shins like a big doofus. Why would you ever have to put chocolate syrup on your shins? Look at him doing it, just pressing it. And now let's see him move around a little bit. Look at him move around with syrup on his legs. He looks so silly. The fifth step is remove the duct tape. Now don't get all mad. You can't be having duct tape against your legs when you put pants on. Just take it off, all right? Do it one at a time. Take off that side. It doesn't hurt that much. But you just can't be having pieces of duct tape under your pants. You gotta be a normal human and just have your legs under your pants. The duct tape was just a buffer, all right? It's all off, great. The sixth step is tie yarn around your legs. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit to you doing it. There we go. Now it's important to tie yarn around your legs because yarn around your legs just makes you look silly. And that reminds you that you need pants. Because when you just have yarn around your legs, you look like a big doofus and you should be putting pants on those legs rather than yarn. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit. You're still tying the yarn around your legs, looking like an idiot, but that's okay. You'll be putting on pants soon. This is just a reminder. You need pants, put that in your pocket. We're all good. Step number seven, take off your underpants. That's right, those underpants are coming off. Don't give me that look, okay? Now just pull those down and let me see that diggity dong of yours. Oop, your dong's all out. Now it's important to take off your underpants because you're gonna be putting on regular pants. So you don't really need underpants, okay? Let's skip ahead a little bit. Oh, you're all tied up in the yarn? What are you going to do with these underpants now, huh? you got to figure out what to do with them because you don't need them. Why don't you just drop them there? There you go. All right, let's move on. Step number eight, bottle chug some cheap booze. All right, there's the booze. Let's skip to you drinking it. Now, it's important to bottle chug cheap booze because 
it can be kind of scary to put on pants. So if you drink some booze, that'll take the edge off and make it easier when you're putting on pants to not feel embarrassed while you do it. So you just gotta chug that cheap booze. Did you just spit it up? You need to drink a little more of it, yeah. Put your face back in it and drink that delicious beverage. Now I say cheap because I know my audience may not have a lot of money, but cheap booze does the same trick as expensive booze. Stop spitting it up, but I think you're, you're good. Step number nine, place the pants on your arms. Now it's important to place the pants on your arms because that prepares your legs for getting pants on them. Because you see, your arms are limbs and so are your legs. So by putting the pants on your arms, you're preparing all your limbs for pants. And I don't think I'm going out on a limb by saying, it's pretty fun to put pants on your arms. Step number 10. Pull the pants over your legs, zip the zipper, and button the top. All right, now get those pants off your arms. Let's skip ahead a little bit here. All right, put your one leg in. Watch out for your dong. Put your other leg in. There you go. Pull them on up. Pull them up. Pull up the rear there. All right, looking good. Show me that nice belly of yours. Just look at that nice belly. Now pull up the pants a little bit more. All right. Now you got to button it. You got that? Oop, you put on some weight. Try again, fatty. Can you do it? Oop, all right, come on. Third time's the charm. We got it. Zip the zipper up and the dong safely inside. And look at that. You put on pants. You look great. You got pants on. Nice job with the pants. And that's how you put on pants. So next time you're hanging out with your girlfriend and she invites a couple of mutts over and they start sniffing your ankles and you don't like that, you can wear pants. So make sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you.